Wow, uh, Amanda has had 10 kids in this challenge. My name is Samantha and I'm back for another episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. I really am enjoying this challenge so far. So Amanda is currently pregnant with baby number 11, could be baby number 12. So we, our goals of this episode are to age our son out, um, grow Amber and Alex into teenagers, and then start going ham on potty training because there's going to be a huge gap, but well, actually, age age my infant up into a toddler, and then go ham on potty training because there's going to be a huge gap between Alex and Amber and Abby. So we want to get her going as quickly as possible so we don't have any huge gaps. So. Bengals just play the game and have fun. Let's get into the life of the Addison family. So what are we going to get in today? Amanda is cleaning the toilet. Our son, Asher, is desperate for fun. And Amber is perfect. She could use some food. They're just ready for school tomorrow. And I got my two babos, Violet and Theo, and then our daughter here, Abby. He's actually in the, she's actually in the crib. Awesome. Go to sleep, Abby. Everybody get on their tasks. Mom here is cooking, just trying to get everybody on track for living. So then Asher is going to go to bed. He's taking a bath right now, and then he's going to sleep. Everybody is doing what they need to to be successful. The baby is up here. Uh, take care of your baby instead of painting. I know I told you to paint, but come on now. Take care of the baby, and then you can get back to sleep. He should age up today, which should be good. Baby needed a diaper change, and it got a diaper change. So awesome. Mom can go back to sleep now. Now it's time for you to go to bed. She can use... Okay, she's like needing food, so I'm going to have mom, when she's done with the baby, I'm going to have her come feed. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We can start with the first food, so that way um, help... Abby, try her first foods. Okay, how about we do applesauce? Yay, Abby reached the toe in the mouth milestone. Good job, Abby, while mom's still taking care of the baby up here. She's a good mom. And all her quirks. Oh. It's nice only having Aww. one infant. It really is at a time. That's not going to be the case. Oh wow, Abby loved applesauce. Meanwhile, my other kids are getting up. Okay. It needs to really be cleaned in here. Okay, so when mom gets a spare moment, she's going to have to clean everything in sight. Oh wow, Abby reached the pinch of grass milestone, which means we just have, when she, I'm going to have her go to sleep. And so, then I'll just have her work on crawling when we get a chance. So, she's tired right now. And mom is just working on painting upstairs. Yay, Alex completed her extra credit for the day. That's good. The kids are just working on getting things together for today. Okay, it's time for everybody to go to school, so I'm going to send alone, so that way he ages up. What are you doing, Amanda? Okay, why don't you just go take a nap, okay, and I'll need you. Okay. 
My son is wearing shorts and boots in the middle of a snowstorm. How is that? Whatever. Counter bullying stratagem. Now that Asher gets pretty good grades, some bullies have been picking on him lately. Should he confront them with a witty comeback or ignore them and hope they'll pick a different target? I would say confront them. Oh, wow. And they, they lose interest because he confronted them. Awesome. That's what I would do. Yay! Amanda has mastered the parenting skills. She can now use super efficient baby care, which is awesome. Grades are up. Asher is an A student. Alex is an A student and Amber is an A student. So we've got three birthday party birthdays that we can do. But I'm gonna have mom work on practice crawling with um our sweet baby Abby right now. And then I'm gonna have I'm gonna get age him up with that cake that we all love and then I'm gonna move him out um, so yeah it really doesn't matter I'm just gonna age him up and then go from there but cake's not gonna work anyways I already know so okay let's go could be in dramatic Yeah, once again, we're going to have to, yep. Okay, he's neat and he's self-assured, right? Okay. So pick a number between one and three. Ooh. Pick a number between one and three. Mm. That would be two. Ha! <laughs> neat, snob, mm. and self-assured. Mm. <laughs> Noom. Can't ex explain how much, how weird of a sim this is. Pick a number between 1 and 15. That would be 14. Pick a number between 1 and 3. That would be 3. Hmm. He wants to be a Zen guru. Hmm. Let's say a quick bye to our boy Asher here, who's self-assured, snob, and neat. The sim world will be happy with you and your unique sense of style. You were my favorite son, the first son. So we love you, and we'll see you out there. Bye. It just feels like we're getting a whole new crop of kids. The only two OG two kids of the original kids in the house will be Amber and Alex. Now we've just got to age Amber and Alex up. Oh wow, she got the high self-esteem trait. Oh, she's unflirty. Pick a number between one and four. Admired icon. Wow, she's got a unique hairstyle. Now, Alex, it's Alex's turn to age up. Okay, so she's an animal enthusiast. Pick a number between one and four. It's two. <laughs> also an admired icon. Wow, y'all are rocking with the wild hair styles, mom. Okay, have you learned crawling yet? Ooh, no, but you're stinky. Okay. One of you can, oh, well you both are busy right now. So how about you're gonna change a diaper real fast and then I'm gonna have you work 
with crawling on her, so. Oh wow, she's learning a milestone. Oh, she just reached the life milestone. Not the one that we were looking for, but definitely works. Okay, how about you practice crawling? Mom could really use your help right now. Mom's painting while Amber is doing tummy time with Abby. It's kind of weird, too, that Amber is a teen and Abby is an infant. Yeah. Oh, wow. And Abby's reaching a milestone. Is it the crawl milestone? I think so. Yes. So your job, then, is to help your sister learn her foods. You don't need to watch the milestone. She's already reached it. Alex is on the scene with Abby. Aww. How did she do? She was unsure about Mango. But after we do our last food, hmm, Abby was unsure about yogurt. Okay, well, you know what? That's okay. It happens to the best of us. But I'm going to have her do her pinch or grass, grass food, and then we'll age her up into a toddler. So it's really focusing on the teens and Abby this weekend because the teens need to get their skill and their grades up. So that way when she does have the baby, um, and also get her aged up because there's going to be a huge gap between teen and toddler. So, and she loved yogurt melts. So when they leave the house, there's going to be a huge gap. So the sooner we get her aged up, the better. And she reached the first finger food milestone. Okay, awesome. I'm so ex I'm so happy. She crawled. Let me make double sure. Yeah, she learned the crawl milestone and the peach grass milestone. So yeah, she had all her food. So it's time to age her up. Let's age this baby up into toddlerhood. I don't understand how the cake is working on every other life stage, but the young adults, and this did not start until the latest expansion pack, so I don't know what's going on, but something's going on in this game. Happy birthday, Abby! mom's upstairs. She's like, I've seen it all. <laughs> and she's independent. Woohoo! We love an independent toddler. That means they can go potty on their own and she reached top knot infant. Top notch infant. <laughs> oh wow! And she is a she's a cutie. Look at that hair. That's so cute. We love an independent Todd. And we love all the Todds, but we love independent toddlers because they can pretty much do it on their own. She was always independent as a baby, really and truly. Even though she was intense, she was really always independent because she was always, you know, doing what she needed to do. So I'm going to have her do potty first because that seems to always take the longest. So I'll have her... I've. There's a method to my madness, and it works. It's called potty until you become a child, and skill build until you become a child. She's going to get there. I have a feeling pretty quickly. Oh, it's Theo and Violet's birthday, too. Hey, 
I'm aging the ba newborns up. They're aging into infants. Theo aged up, and he's calm. We love a calm baby. Aw, Theo reached a small milestone, and... Violet aged up, and she's cautious. Aww. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to have Mom put down Theo, and then put down Violet. I'm just going to have them, have her transport the infants down to downstairs, which is always fun. And our independent Todd here is using the potty chair on her own. Level one, and she's already pottying. Oh wow, Theo is a feed-in tinkler. Nice! He likes to pee on his caregiver. Okay, I know you're hungry and both sleepy, but you need to you need to eat first, and then you can go, Donna. Please don't be difficult with mom. I think I'm crushing it. Ten kids in, and this is a solid household. I think we're doing really good here. Yay! Abby has reached level three of the communication skill. Good job, Abby. Baby number eight is doing good. Whoa, okay. Yay, Amanda is a one-star celebrity again. I didn't know she had lost her celebrity status. I guess she did. Abby is doing really good. I mean, she's learning her skills. She's already level three of communication, level two of imagination, almost level two of potty. We just got to work on thinking and movement. Hopefully, we'll have her aged up on Monday or Tuesday at the latest. It would be awesome. Amanda's upstairs living her best life painting while her kid, older kids are downstairs. One needs to really go pee. One of our teens is actually going to work on tummy time with her brother, Theo. So, mom's upstairs taking a shower and then selling her painting to the collector. Oh, wow. Violet hates wake up Tom. Wow. My little angry bean. Mom's going to breastfeed. Little baby Theo here. She's actually. Let's see. Where, sh where is she? Oh, she'll be in her third trimester in 15 hours. Then I'm going to have her do a tummy tom with Theo. Having mom do tummy tom with Theo because the sooner that we can get him doing what he needs to, the better. Oh, wow. Abby's a light sleeper. Oh, no. That's an unfortunate. Oh, wow. Theo reached the left, left head milestone. Good job, Theo. Our toddler is sitting on the floor eating her food while mom is doing things with doing tummy time with, the, with Theo here. And he's... Also, I think reaching another milestone. Okay, Violet reached the coup milestone unlock, and so did Theo. So we're learning. We're getting there with our kids. Okay, so Theo reached the rollover to that milestone. That's good. I'm going to have him go not not for a little bit. He's been working on skills, so he can go to sleep. Violet is okay. She's just crying to cry. How is it her energy so hot and so, oh, well, she did get fed earlier, but that's okay. He's been working on his skill, so. Mom is fixing pancakes. I've got the kid, older kids doing their homework. Wow, we've got two teens, a toddler, 
and two infants and the toddler wants to go to bed but I keep trying to put her to bed but she won't stay asleep so yeah I'm gonna try again I can't get over how cool Amber's style is. They're both, one's doing their homework, one's going to do video gaming for a little while to get their skill. I've got Amber working on, she's going to be working on the charisma skill, so we want to get them, like, at least their skills up this weekend, which they're almost there, which is good. Oh, wow, Theo had his first blowout. Okay. Theo's asleep, so but I'm going to have Mom wake up. Okay. And then give a bubble bath to Theo. And we, then we need to clean the bathtub up. This is getting ridiculous. Alex has reached level 3 of the video gaming skill. Okay, that's awesome. Then Alex can do some extra credit work and she can also just take a nap because she's tired. He is feeling happy though. She's Amber is working on her charisma skill and she's not happy because it stinks in there. This is a hard skill to work on but it'll be worth it. Oh wow she's feeling angry so mom's gonna feed her actually We'll put down Theo, and then I'm going to have her feed Violet. Yay! Theo got his first bubble bath milestone. That's good. Now our little girl here is feeling happy. Okay. Mom really has to go pee. Well, you can feed your child first. Yo, child needs you. Oh no! Mom just had an accident. No! Oh no. That's not fun. I feel like that's happened a lot. We got, I've got Abby here working on her skill because she's working on imagination. So she's already a level two of potty. Um, she just keeps waking up, so I'm just utilizing that time while she's awake just to work on her skills. Might as well, you know, if that she's up and she won't sleep, might as well take it, take advantage of this time. Amber has reached level three of the charisma. That's good. Work on your extra credit work. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to, and Abby just reached level three of imagination. Good job, Abby. She's got two level three skills. Go back to sleep. Text emergency. I texted someone, but they didn't text back, and it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? Yeah, maybe they missed the first one. No, wait for them to respond. Text a mutual friend and have them poke. First of all, I would not text a mutual friend. Just keep your friends out of it. Secondly, just wait for them to respond. You know, if they don't want to talk to you, they don't want to talk to you. There's no use in forcing it or no sense in forcing it. So people will talk when they want to talk, I guess. Babies are fed, working on eating. This baby is happy. Thankfully. These infants, I'm telling you too much. My little girl is up again. Okay. What skill do we need to work on? How about you go potty again? You will be potty trained. And then you can work on some sim shape. If you're not going to sleep, might as well do that. She's working on her thinking while mom's working on tummy time. I hate it because she just doesn't stay in bed. It's frustrating. But what do you do, you know? What do you do? Oh, 
Oh wow, Theo is gassy. Lovely. Oh wow, Violet reached the reach milestone. Oh wow, Violet had her first blowout. Good job, Violet. Mom, go give Violet a bubble bath. Oh wow, Theo is reaching a milestone. Is it the ability to do tummy time on his own? Yes, he can now do tummy time on his own, like a boss. Yay, Violet got her first bath milestone. Good job, Violet. Oh no, Mom is having another bladder failure. This is like the second time this episode she's going to give birth at any time, isn't she? Man, I've had two bladder failures. Okay. Put down Violet. Was that kid even babe? Like she was supposed to be? No. Yeah. No, she didn't get a complete bubble bath because mom... Just put her in there. One of your kids will deal with it. Okay, my lord. This is... Oh, wow. They both eat a bath at the same time. Wow. Wow, wow. Meanwhile, my toddler here is, like, hungry and wants to go to bed. This is anarchy in this house. Okay. The, the girls are going to have to get up. This is just... That one of them is gonna have to give give bubble baths. Okay. Give a bubble bath to Theo. Just keep giving bubble baths. I know you have your own needs to take care of, but right now, you know, getting your little brother taken care of is most important. No, you need a bath. You're gonna take a bath. Very angry daughter right here. She just won't stay in bed. What do you do? What do you do? Very, very angry. I can imagine this house having one or two more babies in it. I just can't imagine. Wow. But that's just how it's going to be. And I hope that our daughter here doesn't have a bladder failure. We don't even care about New Year's. Not right now. Mom got a second place mat. We're going to try to do some tummy time with her to get her going where she needs to. Okay, so let's do tummy time. We got to get these infants aged up into toddlers. We're going to have an army of infants pretty shortly, I'm afraid. So she's almost a level two of thinking. She's going pretty quickly. Yay! Oh, but um, Abby reached level two of thinking, and Violet reached the ten milestone. Good job, Violet. I'm so focused on my infants and toddlers. I'm just completely ignoring my teens right now. It's like I'm just letting them do whatever they want to do because they're done for the weekend. I mean, yeah, it's like. What are y'all girls doing? I love their hairstyles. They both got updos in their own way. Like, she's got, I almost call them, like, space bun updos. Because that's what they look like. Oh, wow. Theo reached the grab milestone. Good job, Theo. I'm going to have you now work on tummy time. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Theo reached the creep milestone. Good job, Theo. So, what do you want to do? Mom's cooking French toast. So, do you want to just like... What is your... You're an animal enthusiast and you're a child of the olives. We're getting a lot of those, actually, which is really good. But how about 
let's have her work on children's. I think that's cool. Especially since... Get her on a, on a skill. Wow, this girl is almost level, getting close to level three of thinking. Like, she's almost halfway through level two of thinking. But I really want her... And then she'll just have stacking and movement left. They're... Everybody's getting there slowly but surely. Oh, wow. Violet reached the rollover to back milestone. So just one, a couple more tummy time sessions and she'll be able to do it on her own. I honestly find it cool when the older kids teach the younger kids. Oh wow, somebody's doing a milestone. Is he... Oh yay! He just reached the sit-up milestone. Wow. Yay! Theo can now sit up. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna have you pick up your sibling and then we'll, we'll practice crawling with him. A little girl here has just decided that she's gonna wake up, I guess, and get food where, you know, she's a light sleeper, so. Meanwhile, sister here is working on practice crawling with Theo. Yay! Theo is reaching a milestone. Is it the crawl milestone? Let's hope so. Oh, he reached the laugh milestone, not the crawl, but he's hungry and really wants some food. So I'm gonna have sister here um, feed him. Okay. Oh wow, Theo loves sweet potato. That's good. So he's eating right now. He'll probably end up falling asleep in the high chair, which is okay. Okay, what's her deal? Okay, she also woke up. Okay, let me look at what milestones that she needs. Okay, she is actually so close to being able to roll over her tummy on her own. So I'm going to have sis here when he, she's done feeding actually do a tummy tom session with her. I'm going to utilize these teams as much as I can. Let mom rest up. She's upstairs. You know, just let, I'm letting her rest while the other babies are. Well, why don't you go not not? Violet just reached the rollover to tummy milestone. Good job. She can now do tummy time on her own. Our kids are becoming more and more independent as the days go on, thankfully. Mom's going to have a baby anytime now. Oh, Amanda's in labor. Wow. So, let's go have the baby at the hospital, you guys. Whew. All right, flaunt wealth. I like how that's an option. Are you wealthy? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is, what, baby number 11? Yeah, we've, we've had 10 kids so far. Yeah, this is baby number 11. Whew. Okay, so we've arrived at the hospital. Mom here is going to go check in at the front desk. Mom's headed back to the baby machine. She's like, I've done this so many times so far. It's a boy. Okay, so we have an Asher and a Theo. Let's go with Oliver. I love the name Oliver. I think it's cool. Okay, so we've got Oliver. It's a girl. Okay. Let's go with Willow. Wow, I can't believe we've had two more babies. So that puts the count. Let's look at it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
That puts the baby count to 12 babies. Half no. Wow. Oh. Oliver and Willow join the clan. Wow. I can't believe that we've actually got these many children. Oh, wow. Our baby is like hungry. Okay, when I left him, he was in the high chair. See, this is what I'm saying. They spawn randomly. That kid was right here. Okay, he's hungry now. Okay, so that means mom is going to have to take care of her. Okay, whatever. Put down Violet. And mom, I need you to just like work on feeding this baby. Okay, wow. We got so many kids now. We got two infants, two newborns, and then we've got a sweet toddler and two teens that'll be moving out soon, but not too soon. I'm going to work on feeding him first. Like right now. Like get him fed at least. Oh yay, applesauce was successful. Actually feed the baby good right now. He wants ice cream. Really? I told you to feed him. How exciting. Theo liked ice cream. That's good. I think this is a great place to stop. No new pregnancy yet. But... You know, mom does have, we have had 12 kids, so yeah, that's promising for the future. As always, I just want to say thank you for watching. I know that this challenge can be fun, um, but also wild at the same time, so I'm looking forward to where this goes. I can't believe she's had 12 kids. It just... <laughs> The madness will never end, it seems, until we get to 100. Just 88 more babies to go. I'll see everybody next time. Bye! <laughs>